Welcome back to the channel, folks. Welcome back. Bobito. Hey, what's going on over there? What's up, buddy? We are back here at Direct Auto. That's them over there. Uh, and what do what do we have today? It's, this is something we've longed for, right? Yes. I've, I've driven one of these before. Um, have briefly. What is it? Tell us. This is a 2013 Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG. It's a tank. It's a tank. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to say. It might as well just be referenced tank. as a tank. Yeah. Uh, G63. So just from the quick looks on the outside, you got some big, huge wheels, side pipes. Yes. And they, I can't side wait Side pipes. To start up. What car has side pipes now still? Just this car, right? This is really it. There's no other car that has yeah. side pipes stock. It's I'm amazing. Some terrible Mustang. <laughs> but not stock, right? Not stock. Real huge brakes. Big old car. So again, this, this is a G63. How much power? Uh, this is a 13. So the supercharged 63. I mean, this was like over, well over 500 horsepower. Well over. And I yeah. Think over 500 pound feet of torque. So just a beast, folks. Yeah. Just a beast. And it, it I think it, I think it weighs like 6,000 pounds almost. Yeah, um, one of the things people love about these things is uh, the doors. That weighs like 800. Yeah. Pounds. All the doors. Like even that door. It's a workout. Look at that leather on the door panel. <laughs> so nice. That's really nice. That's really nice. I love I love the nice handle in here. Uh, this is a clean ride. I mean, this is such a clean car. Someone walked, just pulled their truck in here to to talk to us about it. They were wanting to buy it. Yeah, he may come back and buy this. We we're like, hey, we're just trying to shoot it. But uh, yes, buy it, please. What? Uh, so plenty of room inside the rear. Uh, this this chassis and or design is not it's not new, right? But this thing's no. been around for quite some time. For what, forty I mean before we were born. Yeah. Listen to that click, folks. Listen to that. Man. I mean and here's the other thing, like then they have the exposed hinges and everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, on the out like a Jeep. Look how high yeah. the seats are there. Yeah, you gotta climb in that thing. Way up there. Wow. Will you move that front seat forward for yeah. me real quick so I can try to figure out how to get in here? I know for the 2020, they've changed the design of these things significantly. These seats are a little bit lower than they were. Uh, but while Bo's doing that for us, door card, again, with nice plush leather through it. This is kind of hard plastic. Uh, rear heated seats. That's nice. Uh, I do like when the window thing is up here. That's kind of helpful. Uh, Bo, pop that other door. So there is no armrest in the middle, which is weird. This leather, though, right? I mean, wow, it's, so nice. it's really soft. It, so like it's really soft. The headliner is Alcantara. Wow. A little bit of fighting the seat over there. Oh. You got it's, You got to push the lever, not. So it does, I wouldn't say it goes flat. There's still a big, huge area. These seats are really high up. Like I said, the new ones have got a different design. Now Bo's got to figure out how to get that sucker up. The stitching looks magnificent on it, uh, which is cool. Um, so it does have a very basic cup holder set up. They just pretty much like mounted it to the floorboard. And again, the rear seats are not heated or not uh that, that is, those are some pretty small vents look at those fingers next to those you can tell it's pretty pretty small again the new one we know has pretty fancy what, what, i think those are just like some they put air vents in the seats back like then back seat speakers <laughs> <laughs> well i do know that they had the screen that did come down here so maybe it did have vent. speakers that were a part of it is uh, this, uh, alcantara? it is it, alcantara? i was showing the folks earlier nice alcantara roof uh, why don't you hop in there and yeah. start this thing so I can get the side pipe noises? It would be my pleasure, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I will definitely hop in here. What a beautiful, I mean, again, this leather is so soft. It's, it, it, clearly, you can't tell on camera how soft it is, but man, let's hear this exhaust. Again, side pipe equipped. Give us a couple revs. Uh, you know what's funny is it only really gets louder too, right? I mean, you can uh, get. I'm only they can. A little over 4,000 RPMs. <laughs> we don't want to go. We don't want to go too haywire. 
Uh, all right, well, climb on in here. Let's look at the basics of it all. Uh, rev it while we're in here, see what it sounds like. Again, we're not trying to redline. All right, if y'all, that's not the camera moving, folks. That was the whole car. <laughs> yeah. The whole car shakes back and forth when you rev the engine. That's crazy. Uh, very basic old school dash. We clearly they've added as much tech to it as they could until they did the full switch for 2020. Yeah, 2014. I know uh, Mercedes uh, cars and their interiors went through that big uh, uh, change where they made everything just kind of. They next leveled it. Next level. They next leveled it for everybody. Driving. But with that said, like this thing is still nice. Like you've got your heated, your cooled seat options here. Um, I'm sure your climate controls down here. Center control, it's you know, definitely mid thousands, looks like the mid thousands dash before they really con converted it. And then, you know, by adding the screen up top, they kind of next leveled a little bit before this most recent. Uh, sadly, you can see down here that's your cup holder, it's got a net, that's it. Uh, there's not two, there's one. So, that's I'm sure <laughs> one of the things you kind of annoys folks uh i'm sitting up i mean the camera is right about at my head or my eyeball so you can tell yeah, like the back there. seats really do sit up yeah, this is down yeah it's crazy um i do like the old school handle there in the dash really kind of funny looking uh to have that still there and this crazy i mean this you this was three, a hundred plus thousand dollar car new right Bo? at least for sure probably more than that yeah and yeah you got three different uh differential Dips, yeah. lock settings here so this thing it really does function off road. It really is not just for looks alone. It really can. Yeah, Mercedes has been. Doing this is like a military vehicle years. originally it, yeah. to go take people anywhere, yeah. uh, and cool just cool little touches that um, you kind of forget, like the extra tweeter down there instead of just having the single speaker. Having the component style is really nice. Oh man. Um, Not forget that you have under the seat storage, and it looks like the previous oh. owner was oh. being very, very generous. <laughs> Do you very, like some hand sanitizer? Very cautious. I think I'm good at the moment. Would you like a used map? I am going to come and look at these. Oh, dude, that was actually, egress was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, Bo, by touching his used mask, you now officially have. No! Uh, how does this seat work? I don't know. Let's look at all these. Man. Look at all that stuff. That's for like the l adjustable lumbar, is what that's for. Or adjustable okay. bolstering uh, here okay. and Can here. You see what it's doing? And uh, the seat goes, but I'm not sure. How did you get the seat to go back? Oh, Ben, it's on the door. Remember Mercedes? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to hand sanitize. Oh. Jeez, he just ate hand sanitizer is what he did. I <laughs> wish I would have gotten that on camera. So yeah, just... here's the little shelf that Bo was talking about. Pretty cool. It does have some stuff over here. Uh, Harmer Carden stereo throughout, so it does bump pretty good. It does have the sunroof. Do you need to rev it again? I mean, you might as well because we're going to ask. Yep sounded <laughs> pop that hood and then we'll let these folks we'll show them what's what's hidden underneath uh i'm pretty sure they'll probably hide most of most of it uh one of the things i think is cool definitely headlights are really cool the nice little led bar that goes across here uh the newer ones have it too also like when this is uh clear or matching the vehicle instead of standing out for the black cars clearly you'd want it black uh nice little vent here which is cool all the little touches, I mean, they've tried their hardest to make this thing. Wow, that takes up all the engine bay. Looks like Mr. Andrews Shiler. Just like every every one of these AMG cars. There's, Andrews and his craftsmanship. Yeah, appreciate his abilities to put this thing together properly. But, man, that's a full bay, isn't it? I mean, yeah, they, they, I see what, I mean, they forced that thing in there, didn't they? Yeah. They, it's they, not they a lot of... It in there, but, dude, what a motor. Like, these things are just incredible. Full of gusto, highly tunable. We can get these things up to 800, 900 horsepower in just a matter of tuning. Yeah. Uh, much less changing out turbos and everything else. So, well, folks, this has uh, been a quick look at this huge tank of a ride. Uh, t t brass taxes here, man. Again, this is available at Direct Auto of Tenant Nashville or Clarksville. Listed at 699. Is that what we saw? 699. How many miles were on it? 75,000. 75,000. Yep. So this ride can be yours again. It was really clean on the inside as far as like what this condition. Looks, this thing looks and feels brand new. It does. New. It really does. Uh, Let's be honest. Can you tell the difference? If I'd have told you it no. was an 18, you would have probably believed me. Yeah. Well, what is it? A 13 or 13? 14? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I kind of did think it was an 18 this whole time. All right. Well, that's what we get for not knowing everything, folks. But 
Uh, again, available from our friends at Direct Auto. They have plenty of other cool rides. Y'all check that website out. For my man Bo Biddle, I am Ben Barber. We will see you in the next video.